out this fish. It's a lake sturgeon. It can grow to several feet long and live more than 100 years. And right now, researchers with UGA are working to bring these fish back to local rivers. Our chief meteorologist Glenn Burns went with the team to see the project that's beginning to show promise. Georgia, I really don't think, I think a sturgeon. Yeah, it's, it's kind of unique. We're actually the <laughs> southernmost extent of the Lake Sturgeon's range. The prehistoric looking fish disappeared from Georgia's waterways more than 60 years ago. Since then, researchers like Dr. Martin Hamill with UGA's Warnell School of Forestry and Natural Resources are working to restock the population in Georgia, depleted largely due to overharvesting. So the eggs are caviar, and a lot of individuals will try and either take that caviar to sell it to make to make money um, some people like to eat it consume it themselves we joined Hamill's team on the Coosa River in Floyd County the team set up two nets the night before our early arrival time to gear up and put the gloves on they have these kind of bony scoots all along the outsides so it's like armored protection um, and if we see one they, they actually are quite sharp good I helped pull in the first net our first catch of the first day. First catch of the day. It's flathead catfish. Another smallmouth buffalo. He'll be just fine. Almost the end. Then the end of the first net. No sturgeon. So we do a lot of this where we go out and we set nets and we may not capture one. But it, you know, it's still providing good information for us. We're told our chances of capturing a sturgeon in the Coosa are very rare. This summer, researchers set about more than 150 nets, recorded about 20 of them. Our fingers are crossed for the next one just up the river. Graduate students Savannah and Matt will bring this one in. A couple of more interesting finds, like this gar. Oh, he's got his mouth open. Wow. And catfish. Lake sturgeon reproduce late. It takes the lake sturgeon up to 20 years to sexually mature. That's if they survive that long. The fish in the Coosa River came from eggs in Wisconsin, where sturgeon can grow to more than 100 pounds. Margaret Stadig with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. They put the fertilized eggs into these incubation systems, and then they drive it all the way back down to Georgia, where they put it into the hatchery, and they continue to hatch out the little guys and grow them to a sufficient enough size where they can place them in the rivers. The fish species can live up to 150 years, which means it'll take generations of people to study this fascinating fish. This is a one of those long-term processes where you just have to have faith. Back on our boat, time and netting were running out. That's when... Oh. <laughs> We got a sturgeon. <laughs> Look at that. A sturgeon estimated to be about three years old. Graduate research assistant Savannah Perry gives us an up-close look. These are called scoots. They're for protection. Next, they'll implant the fish with approved tracking devices. We got an antenna that picks up on the signal, and it will beep whenever we get near it. So we put the tag up underneath one of these dorsal scoots right here. There's no beep, so he doesn't have a tag yet. Matt Phillips shows us how he tags the fish with a small injection. And there's his new ID number. The team measures, weighs, and records our lucky find then releases it back into its home in the Coosa River. With hope soon, we'll see an even larger population everyone can enjoy. They're going to be a sought-after fish by anglers. That was our chief meteorologist, Glenn Burns. And once restocked, researchers told Glenn they'll work with the DNR to come up with rules and seasons for fishing sturgeon.